Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to model this piece of hard surface model using Blender. This tutorial is for Blender intermediate users, so if you are a beginner user, follow some basic modeling tutorials. Let's get started. Create a polygon cylinder with 32 vertices. Rotate it 90 degrees around the Y axis. Select these vertices and extrude them. Move the whole vertices to the left side and add a mirror modifier. Extrude this face along the X axis. Extrude again and scale it down a little bit. Delete the face. Duplicate this face loop and separate it. Extrude the edge loop. Select all and flip the normals. Extrude again. Add another polygon cylinder. Set vertices count to 12. Rotate it 90 degrees around the Y axis. Scale it down and move it like this. Delete the top vertices. Turn on snapping and choose face. Now snap the vertices to the top faces of the other cylinder. Select these vertices and make a face. Select the large cylinder and add a boolean modifier. Select the small cylinder as the boolean object. Choose union operation. Apply the boolean modifier and delete the small cylinder since we don't need it anymore. Now you can see that the small cylinder has attached to the large cylinder. Select these faces and delete them. Select Y axis of the mirror modifier to mirror the object along the Y axis. Merge the vertices. Extrude these edges. Make faces. Add an edge using the knife tool to remove that end gone. Add an edge like this. Select these faces and inset them. Delete the face. Make sure you have checked the clipping option in the mirror modifier. Slide this vertex a little bit. Add an edge loop and merge the vertices. Add some edge loops like this. Add an edge using the knife tool. Merge the vertices and delete this edge loop. If any triangles appear, convert them to quads. Add an edge using the knife tool. Add an edge loop. Add another edge loop. Make sure you have turned on the even option when sliding the edge loop. This will help you to add the edge loops parallelly to the edges which you are going to harden. Add an edge using the knife tool. Merge the vertices. Make a face. Convert triangles to quads. Add a subdivision modifier to see how it goes.
Add some edge loops to the first object as well. Delete the bottom half of the model and choose Z-axis in the mirror modifier. Merge the vertices and delete these edge loops. Convert triangles to quads. Delete this face. Adjust the vertices of the second object while looking at the curves of the first object. Add an edge loop to add more geometry. Apply Shade Smooth and view the model using MatCap with a shiny material to identify any shading issues. Apply the Mirror Modifier. Select these faces and separate them. Apply the mirror modifier of the first object. As you can see, this circle has 32 vertices. So, if you divide 360 degree by 32, you will get 11.25. Add an empty. Hide this object. Add an array modifier. Turn off relative offset and turn on object offset. Choose the empty object. Rotate the empty object 11.25 four times which is 45 degree. Set array count to 8. Check merge option and the first and the and the last copies option. Looks like I have some shading issues going on near the hardened edges. Delete the front faces of the model. Add another edge loop to the model to fix the shading issues by adding more geometry. Select all the vertices and mirror them along the y-axis. Flip the normals. Merge the middle vertices. As you can see these vertices are not in a circle shape. This edge loop has 7 vertices but when you apply the array modifier it should have 6 times 8 vertices which are 48. So add a cylinder with 48 vertices. Delete the top face and the bottom vertices. Move the circle to the middle and rotate it along the y-axis. 
move and scale it until it fit the lines of the second cylindrical object. Snap the vertices. Delete the circle shape since we don't need it anymore. Apply the array modifier. Extrude this edge loop. Select this face loop and duplicate it. Flip the normals. Then separate it. Extrude these vertices and scale them down. Apply shade flat when you are modeling. Add these edges using the knife tool. Make sure you have turned on the cut through option. Delete these faces. Make faces. Add some edge loops in the middle. Delete the rear side and the bottom half of the model. Add a mirror modifier for XYZ axis. Extrude these edges. Make a face. Extrude these edges. Merge overlapping vertices. Add three edge loops. Make faces. Inset these faces with unchecked boundary option. Add an edge loop. Merge the vertices. Delete this edge loop. If any triangles appear, Convert them to quads. Add an edge loop. Merge the vertices. Delete this edge loop. If any triangles appear, convert them to quads. Add some edge loops to harden the edges. Add another edge loop to add more geometry for fixing shading issues. Slide these edges a little bit. Adjust vertices until you get the decent shading on your model. Extrude these vertices and scale them down. Add an edge loop. Merge the vertices. Delete this edge loop. Convert triangles to quads. Extrude this edge loop. Add an edge loop.
Duplicate this face loop and separate it. Flip the normals. Join the object to the main object. Delete the right side of the model. Add a mirror modifier with the clipping option enabled. Add an edge loop. Separate these vertices. Duplicate these vertices and mirror them along the x-axis. Flip the normals. Extrude these vertices to the middle. Separate these vertices. Set transform pivot point to 3D cursor and rotate the vertices 180 degrees. Add an edge loop. Set transform pivot point to the median point. Scale this edge loop to zero along the Y axis. Extrude these faces. Add some edge loops. Delete the bottom half of the object. Choose Z axis for the mirror modifier. Extrude these face upwards. Merge the vertices. Add some edge loops. Merge the vertices. Looks like my topology is not correct. Delete these faces. Make a face. Select these two vertices and subdivide them. Make faces. Move the subdivision modifier to the bottom. Add some materials to your model and render it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.